Duh, aku disuruh ngambil pakaian tamu ke kamar. Padahal aku kan nggak bisa bahasa Inggris. Terus aku harus ngomong apa nih? Oh no! Haha, <tuh> pernah kalian menghadapi hal semacam itu? Menjadi seorang petugas palet disuruh mengambil pakaian tamu ke kamar, tetapi tidak bisa bahasa Inggris. Oke, nggak usah khawatir. Kali ini kita akan tampilkan bagaimana sih conversation seorang valet service yang akan mengambil atau pick up laundry ke kamar tamu. Oke, disimak ya. Good morning, valet service please. Coming please. Good morning, Mr. Smith. I'm Tony from Valid Section. Do you have any laundry, Mr. Smith? Yes, this is... Certainly, Mr. Smith. Could I check your laundry first? Yes, please. Well, Mr. Smith. You have to shirts and a pair of trousers. The total is for PCs. Is that correct? Yes, correct. May I know what is special instruction do you want? In our hotel, we have washing, dry cleaning, and pressing only. Washing, please. May I know what kind of service do you need? We have regular service, express service, and emergency service. Emergency, please. All right, Mr. Smith. What kind of finishing do you want? Folding, on hanger or shirt starch? On hanger, please. All right, Mr. Smith. May I repeat your request? Yes, please. Well, Mr. Smith, you have four pieces of laundry, two pieces shirts and two pieces trousers. You want washing and emergency service with shirt and trouser on hanger. Is that correct? Yes, that's right. All right, Mr. Smith, thank you so much for your laundry. I will process your laundry as soon as possible. If you need any information, please call us by dial number three from your telephone. All right, thank you for your service. With my pleasure, Mr. Smith. Have a nice day. Nah, demikianlah conversation pick up laundry yang dilakukan seorang petugas palet. Nah, sekarang kita akan rangkum bagaimana sih tahapan-tahapan dalam conversation pick up laundry. Yang pertama, mengucapkan salam atau greeting. Good morning, valid service please. Yang kedua adalah memastikan kembali. Adakah cucian yang dimiliki oleh tamu? Do you have any laundry, Mr. Smith? Yang ketiga, mengecek cucian tamu dan mengkonfirmasi jumlahnya dan jenis cucian tamu. Could I check your laundry first? Well, Mr. Smith, you have to shirts and a pair of trousers. The total is for pieces. Is that correct? Yang keempat adalah menawarkan servis yang akan dipilih oleh tamu. May I know what kind of service do you need? We have regular service, express service, and emergency service. Kemudian yang kelima adalah menawarkan finishing yang akan digunakan pada cucian tamu. All right, Mr. Smith. What kind of finishing do you want? Folding, on hanger, or shirt starch? Yang keenam adalah mengulang kembali pesanan tamu. Ini fungsinya supaya tidak terjadi kesalahan dalam mencatat request tamu. Well, Mr. Smith, you have four pieces of laundry, two pieces shirts and two pieces trousers. You want washing and emergency service with shirt and trousers on hanger. Is that correct? Dan yang terakhir, yaitu yang nomor tujuh adalah mengucapkan terima kasih dan mengucapkan harapan yang baik kepada tamu. All right, Mr. Smith. Thank you so much for your laundry. Have a nice day. Nah, sekarang sudah lebih percaya diri kan mengambil cucian tamu ke kamar. 
Hei, ngomong nih bro Hehehe, iya percaya diri kok Semangat belajar di rumah saja